in this video i will suggest you some must do programming problems if you either want to succeed in your technical interviews or you want to really go, perform well in the competitive programming route so you should be down with the fundamentals like bfs dfs topological sorting dijkstra algorithm as well as minimum spinal algorithm it is a new type of graph problem that is being readily asked in your technical interviews as well as in competitive programming contests you should really know this technique it really helps in your technical interviews as well as competitive programming that you should know how to design a data structure depending on the needs and you should also know how to design the basic data structure so these are really important problems and they have multiple solutions so you should at least know the best solution Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Coding India. I'm Ankush and I'm back again with a very interesting video. In this video, I will suggest you some must-do programming problems if you either want to succeed in your technical interviews or you want to really go, perform well in the competitive programming route. Now, these problems are based on the new trends that I'm seeing these days in the technical interviews and in the programming context. Right? So, this video will be packed with information. So, do watch it completely and let's begin with the video. All right. So the first type of CAD problems that I would suggest that you should master are actually graph problems. So graph problems are really important for your technical interviews as well as for competitive programming. So you should be down with the fundamentals like BFS, DFS, topological sorting, Dijkstra algorithm, as well as minimum spinal tree algorithm. And a new trend of problems that I'm seeing nowadays is actually state-based questions. So what actually happens in these problems is that you are actually given a starting point. and you somehow have to reach a target point right and you actually have to take the minimum path to reach that right so at first glance these problems might not uh, look like graph problems but they are actually solved using the graph techniques but that might be bfs or dfs so one good example of this problem that i set myself on code studio is actually sliding puzzle so you should definitely check out the sliding puzzle problem on code studio because it is a new type of graph problem that is being readily asked in your technical interviews as well as in competitive programming contests So the second type of problems that I would suggest you master is actually binary search. So binary search is again a really important topic in both competitive programming as well as technical interviews. Right. So I am seeing that uh, people should at least be down with their fundamentals. Like they should at least know how to implement binary search. What is the time complexity of binary search, and why is the time complexity of binary search logarithmic? Right. They should be able to explain that because an interview might deep dive on it. Right. And second is. a uh, new type of problems or i should say that they are really in fashion nowadays that is answer via binary search problems so what usually happens in this is you are basically given a range and using divide and conquer you find your answer using the binary search technique so really good example of these type of problems is aggressive cause and patent partition problem on code studio so you should definitely try out these two problems again i am repeating aggressive cause and patent partition problems these are really two good example of the problems that i am suggesting for answer via binary search you should really know this technique it really helps in your technical interviews as well as competitive programming so do check them out so the th third type of problems that you must do are actually design based problems so what i mean by these is that you should know how to design a data structure depending on the needs and you should also know how to design the basic data structures so these are the type of problems that are readily asked in interviews and uh, a lot of students skip these and hence get bamboozled in the interview so you should really know how to at least design the basic data structures like stack queue and hash maps and heaps and moreover you should know what is the uh, time complexity of each operation that you are implementing right for example what is the time complexity to get the top element in stack or what is the time complexity to insert an element in a hash map or a heap that you should actually know this type of complexity and uh, uh, along with that you should also do some design based questions uh, that are that have ad hoc requirement like lrg clash and lrg clash so these are really important cash problems and there are a lot of technical interviews so lrg clash basically stands for least frequently used cash and lrg clash stands for least frequently used cash right so these are really important problems and they have multiple solutions so you should at least know the best solution and definitely try these out a lot of students skip on these and then get caught in the interview so do check these problems out now the final type of problems that i would must must suggest you is actually 
classical db problems now db is a very vast topic you can actually spend years just practicing db problems but one thing that people miss out on skip on actually classical db problems the core db problems like longest increasing subsequence longest common subsequence knapsack problem coin change problem and matrix multiplication you should at least try to cover all of the classical db problems because in technical interviews as far as i know that uh, you might get a variation of classical db problems right and it is highly likely right in competitive programming also it really helps if you at least know the classical db problems because the easier problems are code first and code second are actually a variation of these classical problems itself only and i see many people skip it and they actually try to do the hard part first so don't do this you must do all the classical db problems uh, for your best results right so do check out these problems on course db so these were my recommendations of must do problems right so just to summarize the must do problems based on the new trends are actually graph based problems in which you should actually try to do state based problems and one good example is sliding person you can find it on code studio another is answer via binary search technique right a good example of these are aggressive cow and painter problem again you can find these problems on code studio third would be design based problems that you should know how to implement a hash map heap stack queue and you should also know how to implement r l r u cache l f u cache and these sort of problems and you should also know all the classical db problems right it doesn't make sense to skip to the hard problems before you complete all the classical db problems like lis lcs knapsack coin change and matrix multiplication so these are the must do problems in my recommendation i hope you liked it i hope this was very insightful for you if you liked it do like the video do comment down below if you have any doubts do share it with your friends and subscribe to the youtube channel of coding ninjas my name is ankush and i'll see you in the next one goodbye hi there coding ninjas has brought to you code studios weekend contest which is happening every weekend are you someone looking to test your ds skills before you sit for your upcoming technical interviews if yes then this is for you code studio is conducting a weekend contest that is best suited for students and professionals equally attending such competitions regularly can put you way ahead in the race of cracking product based companies so register for yourself with the link in the description and in the pinned comment see you there